So my friend is actually a chiropractor and she's studying under a chiropractor that does clear in Chicago. And she had came in the beginning of the year for a conference and we went to Universal and we started riding roller coasters and I got extremely sick and I started telling her about my medical, my health and she told me about clear. And she's like, let me feel your neck. She's like, something's definitely wrong with your neck. I think you should go get it checked out, at least do the x-rays. So I came here and he did the x-rays and the neck has like a natural curve. Mine's the opposite direction. Because it's in the opposite direction, the bones are hitting against each other. So it's causing disgeneration and like the fractures. And they said it was off by over 55 degrees and they highly recommended that I do the intensive care. When you affect the cervical spine, in a negative way. You can affect all the nerves that go through the cervical spine, and a lot of those nerves go back, you know, go back into the hands and arms, they go into the head, they go into the base of the skull, they go into the neck, so they can cause obviously neck pain, it can cause vertigo, it can cause dizziness, cause pain down or numbness into your hands and tingling. It can start affecting a whole host of things because your cervical spine is where all the nerves that go through into your body. So it's not limited to those, but it's, those are definitely the most common findings when you have uh, cervical spine problems. The cervical spine has a normal alignment, and that normal alignment is called the lordosis, where the spine bends like a backward C with a forward bending, you know, facing forward. Um, what Allie had going on was something called a cervical kyphosis, is where the spine bends backwards. So she had 100% loss of this normal curve. When you lose this normal curve, it can start affecting the neurology that goes through the spine because the spine is designed to protect that neurology, meaning spinal cord and nerves that exit out into the body and control all the organs and functions of our, of our, of our body. So it can create all kinds of uh, widespread problems like what Ali was dealing with. It's been good. Um, I've been doing the treatment. Sometimes I feel extremely dizzy, but I know it's getting it to a good direction. There was one of the points that um, increased by like 20%, so that was really good. Allie went from a cervical kyphosis, a backward bend curvature, to a forward bending curve. And so what that meant was she had a negative curve and now she has a positive curve. And that is huge because that's taking a spine bent in the wrong way, bending in the right way. It's reducing pressure and tension within that spinal cord and nerve system. And now those nerves can start pro properly functioning. And if the nerves can start properly functioning, whatever those nerves are controlling can start functioning. And whatever those nerves are controlling can have a positive Im impact on those organs, tissues, glands, whatever it is, to start harmonizing, equ uh, equilibrizing, and functioning the way they're supposed to.